Let's bring in General Keith Kellogg. General, let's get to the situation here. You've got, according to the White House, 5,000 troops in Belarus, more than 100,000 troops in Russia on Ukraine's border. The White House is preparing a sanctions package for Russian elite, according to the White House. Where, where do we go from here? What happens next? And, and do you think the timing of this invasion, if it does occur, would happen after the Olympics, given that happens and begins on Friday? Yeah, Rich, thanks for having me. Look, I think Putin is playing a masterful game. He's got enough forces right now on the northwest, the north, the northeast, and the, and the south of Ukraine to do whatever he wants to do. He is ready to go right now if he wants to go. But he's starting to play the diplomatic game, and he's playing it very well. He's doing well in the U.N. today. Tomorrow he's got Viktor Orban, the prime minister of Hungary, going to Moscow to talk uh, peace talks on, on Ukraine. And then he's heading to uh, Beijing, where he's going to be, uh, you know, a, a prime player in the Olympics. He's an honored guest of, of Xi uh, uh, at the start of the Olympics. He's playing it masterfully well. He doesn't have to go right now. So if I was a predictor, I would have thought he was going to go before the Olympics. Now looking at right now, nope. He's going to wait till the Olympics go by. He's going to let the, dip the diplomatic process play out. He's always going to have those forces ready to go because the exercises don't start in Belarus uh, till the end of February. So he's ready to go. He's playing this thing perfectly. You know, he likes to uh, do judo as a sport, keeps people off balance. I think he's doing that real well right now, and he's making us look a little bit foolish. Do you think that he needs to or that the President Biden needs to do more than just threaten sanctions here? I mean, I think the United States and the West have made it clear that they're not willing to go to war shooting war over Ukraine, mm -hmm. but is there space between sanctions with the administration's threatening now and the military option? Yeah, you know, Rich, my recommendation to the president is just keep quiet, just shut up. Don't say anything anymore, because every time he says something, it always creates more problems. When he talked about a limited incursion into Ukraine, that was like a green light to Putin if he wanted to go. I would recommend the United States just everybody sit tight. Let it play out right now. He's using every word we say against us. So let's just stop talking and let's see what he does. Do we are think, postured well in NATO to repel him if, if necessary. Do you think that this is just a gigantic exercise to get diplomatic extractions from the West in NATO? Or is this a primed invasion to change the government in Ukraine to a more Moscow-friendly one? Well, I think the latter is correct. But look... The absolute pinnacle of success in strategy is to accomplish a goal without fighting. If he can get what he wants without fighting, he has proved himself to be the ultimate strategist. And I think that's where he's going to. He is trying to get something done without resorting to force. And if he can get it, uh, a government that he wants, fine. If he can get concessions, fine. He's playing this very, very well. That, that I give him credit for. I don't trust him at all, but you've got to give him credit. He plays it well. General, if you look at the Olympic timing here, it was 2014, shortly after the Sochi Games, that mm -hmm. Russia invaded Ukraine and took over Crimea. Here we are just a few days before the Beijing Olympics with Beijing hosting. Xi Jinping is the host here uh, and a desire by Putin not to step all over that. What could the timing be here? And do the Olympics provide a two week blocking event against an invasion? Yeah, I, I think, Rich, I think it did give us a blocking event. But as that great baseball player Yogi Berra once said, it's deja vu all over again. He could go right after the Olympics if he wanted to. But he may get some good diplomat diplomatic concessions out of this whole process. And he's going to make everybody else in the West look foolish. He's been saying all along, I don't plan to invade. And if he can get some type of success without invasion, then he's accomplished his goals. But he'll always have that capacity and the capability to invade if he wants to. General Keith Kellogg, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon on this emergency situation that is growing on the Ukrainian-Russian border. Sandra? Thank you, Rich. Thank you, General.